Hey guys, Aaron here. Um, I don't have a review video prepared for you today. I'm still kind of carrying some stuff. I've gotten some new stuff in and I'm kind of thinking through what I want to do next. But what I figured I would do is I would do a collection update video. Uh, haven't done one in a while. I enjoy them when other people do them. You can kind of see what I still have, what I've gotten rid of, and you know, ask any questions going from there. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the fixed blades. Um, I have three fixed blades that I carry. Um, in pretty good rotation. The first is the Woodward from Patrick Doyle. This is 3V in Thunderstorm Kevlar. Really great EDC fixed blade. Patrick's doing good work. Highly recommend what he's got going on. Um, next is a little Necker from Neil Blackwood. And uh, this is in um, CTS XHP Cord Sanmai from Nichols. Really nice, just two finger, box opener, neck knife, so on and so forth. Kind of a cool little knife. Uh, next is the Tom Krein Cicada. Uh, one of my favorite little pocket um, fixed blades. Uh, I have a pocket sheath that will carry this and one of my Mouchamp flashlights. This is in 3V, my favorite steel. And i um, very happy with this piece once again. I uh, love Tom's, Tom's fixed blades, and the Cicada is one of the best small fixed blades, I think. So, moving on to traditional folders, I have a Victorinox Pioneer X, and this is a Pioneer added with added scissors, thus the X makes it, in my opinion, one of the uh, most perfect uh, Victorinox tools that's out there. You've got the blade, you've got all the cap lifters and screwdriver functions, but then you just add scissors. It's perfect. So, uh, Victorinox. Next up is my Brent Kramer um, four and a half inch back pocket in Stag. And this is a big um, slip joint, four and a half inches closed uh, in CPM 154. Just a really beautiful knife with really beautiful Stag on there. You can see the, the nice texture and color. Um, really sharp. Good size, full size knife in a in a traditional package. Really dig this one. Um, and then another one that is uh, probably my favorite slip joint right now. I carry this most days. Is my Brett Dowell Drop Point. Um, this is a front pocket or a drop point trapper, whatever you want to call it. Um, about three and three quarter inch closed steel integral bolster, double bomb shield. And um, I believe this one is in CPM 154 as well. It could be ATS 34. I'm not completely sure. Jig bone handles. Really, really nice knife. Um, just the perfect size. Fits into the pocket sheath that I have very well. I love his like satin polished finish. It is satin and you have the grind lines, but it's also polished. I don't know. Just It's just really cool. It doesn't really show wear, but just looks really, really nice. Um, I typically carry this every day along with a locking folder. Um, I would typically carry this one by itself. So um, moving on to the moderns, I picked this up a week or two ago and this is a left-handed Protec TR3 with the stone wash blade. Um, I've been really impressed by this. I need to do a full-on review of this but all in all the fit and finish, the grind, everything on this knife is just fantastic. So um, if you're looking at a Protec, I would suggest getting one. Um, next is my Chris Reeve Manandi in, I think this is Bacote wood. Uh, I think that's right. And then, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Raindrop. That's it. Raindrop Damascus. Um, one of like probably the classiest gentleman's knives out there, um, with Chris Reeve fit and finish. Can't beat that. Um, I, I, so I bought this uh, two, no, three years ago at Blade Show when I went with my dad. Uh, it was the first time my dad had been to Blade Show, and we each bought Menandis. Um, kind of cool. We have them together. His isn't Damascus, but it's still pretty neat. So there's that. Um, next up is my birthday Sabenza. So this Sabenza was made on my birthday, December 18th. Um, I went and I had Tom Ferry engrave my initials into it, into the titanium. And um, I've got a Peter Atwood landslide on there. And it's the Insingo 
Um, I've always figured that if I get sick of the in single blade shape or I want to go back to the regular drop point, it would probably be pretty easy to swap that scale onto a different set of handles. But um, I can carry it, I can use it, this is a keeper for sure. Uh, to find a left-handed birthday Sabenza I thought was pretty cool. So, um, great knife, Sabenzas are awesome. Um, I think they are one of the best CDC knives on the market, especially, they're easily the best production, and um, they hold up against a lot of customs as well. Um, let's see here. Next. Hmm. Let's talk about this. This is my Tom Krein Alpha uh, marbled carbon fiber titanium bolsters 6K Stellite blade liner lock um, from 2014. So I've had this knife two years. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I've done a review of it. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me talk about it. Uh, the Alphas are awesome. One of my favorite EDC knives, custom EDC knives. I think that their design profile is perfect. Tom's blade grinds are right on the money. And just in general, I think that, uh, you know, you can't go much better than this for an EDC custom. Um, it's a knife that's built to be used, still made well, um, still smooth, still sharp, and still really cool to look at. Um, I was impressed the very first time I saw one, and um, I'm continually impressed with each new one that I see. So I know they're really desirable and they're hard to get, but if you're ever presented with the chance to pick up an Alpha, I highly recommend it. So I guess I'm kind of working from like uh, oldest to newest. So let's see. That would be this one, I believe. This is my Moorish made Vanguard. Um, this is a, a knife built by Sam Morish. He's a Nashville-based knife maker. Um, really cool kid. He is 21 or 22 years old, I think. And all he's got is a grinder and a drill press. And he is making absolutely awesome frame lock knives. They flip great. They have awesome action. The grind on them is absolutely crazy because he's flat grinding those so thin. And uh, this is um, AJ Composite's Pearled Carbon Fiber. Linerless, bearings, everything. This is CPM 154 with a really awesome milled clip. Um, Sam's doing great work. He's Moorish made on Instagram. Go check him out. I'll try and remember to link to him in the description. So just to keep things cohesive, this is a newer knife that I got. I actually just received this this week. And this is Sam's Moorish made's newest model, the Daedalus. And this is a... Uh, 3.8 inch M4 bladed frame lock with a Mokutai clip. Um, this is on washers and uh, this thing is just wicked. I mean, the grind on it is insane. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that grind. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just crazy to me. So... Um, built really well, no stick, really smooth, hydraulic-y, like Sabenza-y action. I love this knife. And uh, Sam is doing incredible work on that. So, um, once again, this is a Moorish Made, and this is a Moorish Made. So, and he is Moorish Made on Instagram. So, let's see. Next up, let's talk about this. This is the Tom Ferry Insidious. And, um... This is a knife I had made with a buddy of mine. We have a matching set. He has the right-handed, I have the left-handed. The scales are Tom Ferry's self-authored Damascus, Damascus steel, that he went into and engraved his basket weave pattern into. And then the blade is Zephanite, which is a uh, really high-speed nitrogen steel. And, uh, I mean, these knives are, are absolutely incredible. Made by a master smith. You can see inside on the backspacer there that it has Tom's master smith mark. And they are, I mean, they're perfect. They really are. Well, I mean, it's what you would expect from somebody of Tom's caliber. So beautiful knife, great action, super sharp, all those things. Um, okay, getting down to the end of it. Uh, let's talk about the Guthrie's. I have two knives from Jason Guthrie's or JG Customs. This is his Scout, which is his smaller model. This is one of his few nested liner lock knives with the Timascus clip. I've done a review of these, but I just, I can't say enough that these things are fantastic. These are very similar to the Alpha in like kind of the carrier profile and, and my preference for them. I think they're just awesome. But 
yeah, all in all, fantastic knives. Also flat ground, and they're M390 steel. Um, the action on them is just crazy. The detent is perfect. They can't help but flip open. Really, really awesome pieces, especially with the nested liner lock. This thing weighs almost nothing. Um, and then continuing with the Guthrie's, this is his Ranger, which is his full-size version, almost a four-inch, or I think it is a four-inch blade. Flat ground M390. This is his full tie skeletonized pattern um, and has the GTI or the Guthrie tungsten insert in the lock, which just makes this knife crazy smooth, zero lock stick, and no lock movement whatsoever. Um, once again, Jason's knives are perfect. If you can get on his books, he has talked about how he's opening them later this year. You would do very, very well to try and get yourself a knife from him. Um, he is on Instagram as well. I will try to remember to link him also. And then let's see, second to last is my John Graham GL Tanto. Um, this knife I got direct from John. It is a CTS B75P, which is Carpenter's version of BG42 steel with a really wicked compound grind. Mokutai uh, inlay strips with a Mokutai backspacer and his tail clip. This is linerless with AJ Composites um, smoked carbon fiber, and this is just one of my favorite knives. It's absolutely insane. A complete monster, great action, crazy sharp as you would expect from Tom, or John, not Tom. Um, just a perfect knife. I love John John's knives, and as with kind of any of these, if you can get one, do it. I mean, they're great. So last and certainly not least is one of my newest knives, and this is a David Sharp frame horn in Dama Steel. And this is the only frame horn he's made lefty, and I snagged it. Um, beautiful blade. I love Damascus steel. Not only is it cool to look at, but it's also really awesome blade steel. It performs well. It looks awesome. And um, this knife is on bearings. David usually works on washers, but uh, it's smooth. The lockup is solid. Fit and finish is perfect. And I love the detail of the um, scale and the inlay. It's all integrally milled with the bolster. Just very, very cool work. Um, David is another one of those guys that is at all the knife shows and has knives for sale. And, uh, you know, if you ever get a chance to pick one of those up, grab one as well. These are really awesome pieces. So this is where the current collection stands. I also have some flashlights that I carry a lot that you guys see. I've got a couple of watches that I rotate between. But um, here's where the custom knife collection is. So thanks a lot, guys. As always, I'm looking forward to your comments. And I really thank you for watching. Um, I do also want to point out that um, this whole channel is sort of brought to you by uh, Urban EDC Supply. Um, I don't mean to tag them on as an afterthought to this video. I just kind of got into a, a role, but they are really, really awesome. They are linked in the description as well, and they are suppliers for a lot of my EDC gear. Um, go, uh, go over to their website, sign up for their newsletter, and um, check out what they have. Uh, they have a very nicely curated collection of merchandise, and they're really cool guys to deal with. So that's all. Um, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll check in, check in with you next week. All right, guys. See ya.